Here's your terrible Trump update for the day. This time, he's picked a totally unqualified person to lead the entire FBI. And this guy's going to replace the FBI director that Trump fired because James Comey was investigating Trump's treasonous ties to Russia. The guy Trump picked now for FBI director has never even worked in the FBI. He's mostly known for being the lawyer who represented corrupt New Jersey Governor Chris Christie when he got caught in a scandal that ended with body bags. You may remember Bridgegate, where Christie shut down a bridge to punish his political opponents, and then a 90-year-old woman died in an ambulance. Yeah, this was the guy arguing that Christie was totally innocent and insulating him from the political fallout. Sounds like the perfect person to head up the FBI. Because why? Because... Because Trump. That's why. Here's what this sorry excuse for a traitor-in-chief had to say about it on Twitter. I will be nominating Christopher A. Ray, a man of impeccable credentials, to be the new director of the FBI. Details to follow. Uh, hopefully that'll include details like what the hell you were thinking when you're doing an enormously important announcement about government decisions from your private Twitter account on a whim. But as always on Twitter, the people get to talk back. And sometimes their response is even better than the original tweet. So here's at Vic Berger, the fourth, replying to Donald's tweet with some of the best tweets ever, including, hey, Comey's testifying tomorrow. You're going down. This wouldn't be a weak attempt at distracting from that, right? Or nominating an FBI director using Twitter definitely seems like something a desperate president wouldn't do. And two hours before the Senate Russia hearing, you tweeted your nomination for new FBI director. Hmm. Why did you choose that specific time? Won't be long now until you go bye-bye, Mr. Trump. Hashtag lock him up. Remember that Donald Trump wouldn't even need to find a new FBI director if he didn't tell Jim Comey, you fired. And that was the guy who pretty much handed Trump the White House on a silver platter by bringing up Clinton's emails in the national news media over and over again, in contradiction to long-standing FBI ground rules about politics. Then, Comey got caught actually doing his job and investigating Trump's treasonous ties to Russia, which Trump asked him to back off of. But Comey kept coming at Trump and letting his FBI agents dig deeper into a scandal that is bigger than Watergate. So Trump got rid of him in order to protect himself from impeachment. So just remember, Republicans, you can do anything for Trump, even hand him the presidency, and he will still do anything to you including firing you, defaming you, and replacing you with his confederacy of loyal, corrupt dunces. Just like he has in this case by picking Christopher Wray to be the new FBI director. No one is safe under a Trump administration, not even the people who helped him get into the White House in the first place. I'm Ryan Clayton. This is Content News. Come back daily for the news where we're free to share the truth.